Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm here to do the Gnome Dyes Fishing Add-ons assembly video. Hey, so I'm using the Gnome Dyes Fishing Add-ons along with the Gnome Dyes, the Girl Gnome Dyes, the Gnome Dyes Extra Parts Add-ons 2 and 1. There we go. And I'm using um, Echo Park's The Great Outdoors 6-inch pad along with um, Gingham Linen Rainbow Petite Prints from Doodlebug Dot Stripe P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones, which is now available. The P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones is available at Jada Blossom in the Jada Blossom store. So first I went ahead and I cut the hat out of the um, Gingham Linen Doodlebug in brown. And I edged around it in Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. And I'm going to stick it together using my Barely Art Glue. All my die cutting today was done with my Gemini. So I'm just lining that up. I'm using a reverse pattern on the flip up part of the hat or the brim. And I'm just going to weight that down. Now this little fish is from the Great Outdoors 6 inch pad from Echo Park. Now you could use any paper. I'm just planning on using some pattern paper, I think, when I make my cards later. So I kind of chose accordingly for my fish. Now I'm adding on this little tiny fin. And then I have another little fin to pop on the side with that um, Barely Art glue. Using my reverse tweezers, working on my Stampin' Up pad. And there we go. Now you notice that I did, um, you know, I'm using just various papers. Now these are both from Paper Tray Ink and it is Canyon Clay and Ripe Avocado. And then I'm adding on silver from American Crafts Christmas Foil and it's just silver cardstock. And I cut out the little clips or the little closers for this tackle box and the little handle out of that. There we go, isn't that cute? So cute. Now you can use it like that, right? No hands, or you can add the hands on like I'm going to later. So first I cut this fishing rod out of soft stone cardstock from Paper Trank. It's kind of like a really light gray. Now I'm adding dark chocolate for the fishing pole itself. And I'm just sticking those together. Now these two little fish were cut from that same Echo Park, uh, the Great Outdoors six inch pad. There we go, and I'm just going to stick that down. And then I realized the little eye is gonna show. So I'm going to use a black marker just to add a little bit of color to the eye. And it's just a Sharpie, just because I wasn't you know, planning. Normally I'd pull out my Copics and I'd do it before I added glue, but you know, I, I have to be careful with those Copics. There we go, so I'm just adding that on. So now my little fish has a fin and an eye. And then I'm going to pop that other little fin on the side and there we go. So I've got a little fishing pole with a fish on there. Now I need to add the reel. Now the little reel part was cut from um, gingham linen. Um, it's kind of like a gray colored from Doodlebug. And then this little handle, the little turning handle is cut from uh, Paper Tray Ink Smoky Shadow cardstock. So there is your little fishing rod and you could use it as is on a card or you can add the hands like I will later. Okay, now I'm putting together this little fishing net cut first out of the gingham linen from Doodlebug, um, the black. I use the gingham side. There we go. And then, or the linen side, sorry guys. And then the little part on the top, the handle was cut from Smoky Shadow Paper Tray Ink. Okay, so now I'm putting together this cute little hook and first out of American Crafts Silver Foil, then out of Canyon Clay from Paper Tray Ink, and then Pure Poppy from Paper Tray Ink. There we are. And then there's a little piece of twine, like the, you know, the part that you tie for a fishing, um, for fly fishing. And that was cut from gingham linen on the linen side from Doodlebug um, in the gray. So I'm just taking off my extra glue. And then see that little tiny part there? That, that's the part that wraps around the, where the eye of the hook is. I'm just going to use, there we go pick that up. I couldn't find my um, Studio Cattail embellishment one. I find it a little later. My desk is a mess. Okay, now I'm going to put together this little floater and I'm adding, that's cut out of white paper tray ink cardstock and pure poppy. There we go. And that's going to be a little decoration for my little guy's, my little fishing guy's hat. I'm just going to weight that down. Now I'm pulling out um, white daisy um, close to my heart ink. It's like a pigment ink and I'm just inking around this smoky shadow beard cut from uh, the gnome dyes and the little mustache just to give it a little bit of you know highlight around the edge and now I'm putting together the gnome. So I used um, black American Crafts cardstock then I'm adding on my little beard smoky shadow from paper tray ink 
There we go. And then I'm going to add the little hat. So you need to do some little gnome surgery. So you're just going to cut off that hat. And then I will put glue on there. And remember, all the hats line up with the top of the beard. You always start with the beard with the boys. There we go. Now you could even put this on the girl if you wanted to. I just chose to put it on the boy. Now I'm going to pop up this little floater or bobber. I can't remember, is it bobbing? I can't remember what it is. It's a, you know, the little floater for fishing. And now I'm going to pop up his little nose with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. Those are the miniature ones. Using my reverse tweezers. And I'm also using Barely Art glue. I'm going to pop that down as well. We have Juno here. If you hear clinking in the background, that's that's uh, the German short-haired pointer that's here for a visit. That's my son's dog. So we, they're, she's our grand pup, I guess you'd want to say. <laughs> there we go. So I'm now I'm popping up um, his little feet. And isn't that cute? Now, I went ahead and I put this little girl together with dark chocolate cardstock, um, P13 stamping pad skin tones, and um, dot stripe from Doodlebug Rainbow Petite Prints. There we go. Just because, you know, it gives her kind of like a fishing or a hunting look. Now, I'm going to put together the little, um, you know, things with the hands, the areas for the hands to hold. So I used American Crafts black cardstock, and I do glue the item on top, and then I'll pop up the little hands that were cut from that P13 Stamping Pad skin tones. Awesome that Jada Blossom is now carrying this in their store. So when you buy your gnome dies, you can get yourself some skin tones cardstock, because sometimes it's hard to get, right? And it is my favorite. Okay, so now I'm popping, popping, popping up those little hands. And now look at he's holding his little tackle box. Isn't that cute? Or she can hold the little tackle box. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this little hook. Now you don't need to use these. You can put the hand wherever you want, right? I find it just makes it easier because it, you know, it, it gives a stable spot to put the hand. And then if you want to pop up the whole thing, um, it's a little easier because, you know, the, the paper behind it is a little bit more sturdy, right? There we are. So I'm popping up my little hand. So there's my little hook. And now he's holding a little fishing hook. But like I said, you could use it without the hand, right? Now I'm going to do the same thing with this fishing, uh, fishing pole or fishing rod, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to add that down. There we go. All my shadows were cut with American Crafts black cardstock today. There you go. Making sure everything's lined up. And then I will um, pop up the little hands again with Stampin' Up Dimensionals, just the little tiny ones. There you have it. And, you know, very simple. And then either the girl or the boy could hold this uh, little rod, you know, or you could use it without the hands on a card by itself, right? We've been waiting for these fishings, this fishing set for a long time. Everybody's been asking, isn't this darn cute? I just think it's adorable. There we go. So lastly, or not lastly, I've got a couple more. I've got this little fish. So cut out a black first. And then I'm going to pop that down. And now we have a spot to put those hands. But like I said, not necessary. You could skip that step if you'd like. And isn't that a cute fish? And I'll pop up the little hands as well. Now this is sped up two times, you know. Because this part, you know, the, the assembly, you know, it takes a little bit longer. Um, but at least you can watch it and see where all the little pieces go. Sometimes it can be confusing. There, there he is holding his little great catch of the day, right? Now I'm going to do the same thing with this cute little net. And then I'll put together the net. And then we will, I believe we will be done with the gnome dies fishing add-ons assembly. So there we go. Isn't that cute? Just so cute. I'm trying to show you that the pattern on the net is kind of hard to see, but it, it does give a great little texture. I, I love to use um, pattern papers, you know, on my gnomes and the gnome thing, gnome, um, you know, add-ons. So now I'm going to pop up the two little hands again, that P13 stamping pad skin tones. There we go. And isn't that amazing? I just think this is a super cute set, perfect for Father's Day, perfect for fishermen, perfect for, you know, to use those punny sentiments that we have um, for this release, which are so darn cute. And, um, you know, just amazing for the fishermen in your life, people that love fishing, or, you know, like I said, Father's Day, man manly cards, they're, they're hard to make, right? I always find I have a hard time making the guy cards because I want to use all the bling and the shiny stuff, and not all guys like that. 
So there we go. And my son's a fisherman. So this is kind of a plus for me too. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these products. And thanks as always for watching my videos.